from Mary Oliver's New and Selected Poems, Volume 1. Rain. 1. All afternoon it rained, then such a power came down from the clouds on a yellow thread, as authoritative as God is supposed to be. When it hit the tree, her body opened forever. 2. Swamp Last night, in the rain, some of the men climbed over the barbed wire fence of the detention center. In the darkness, they wondered if they could do it, and knew they had to try to do it. In the darkness, they climbed the wire, handful after handful of barbed wire. Even in the darkness, most of them were caught and sent back to the camp inside. But a few are still climbing the barbed wire or wading through the blue swamp on the other side. What does barbed wire feel like when you grip it? As though it were a loaf of bread or a pair of shoes. What does barbed wire feel like when you grip it? As though it were a plate and a fork or a handful of flowers. What does barbed wire feel like when you grip it, as though it were the handle of a door, working papers, a clean sheet you want to draw over your body? Three, or this one. On a rainy day, my uncle, lying in the flower bed, cold and broken, dragged from the idling car with its plug of rags and its gleaming length of hose. My father shouted, then the ambulance came. Then we all looked at death. Then the ambulance took him away. From the porch of the house, I turned back once again, looking for my father, who had lingered, who was still standing in the flowers, who was that motionless, muddy man, who was that tiny figure in the rain. Four, early morning, my birthday. The snails on the pink sleds of their bodies are moving among the morning glories. The spider is asleep among the red thumbs of the raspberries. What shall I do? What shall I do? The rain is slow. The little birds are alive in it, even the beetles. The green leaves lap it up. What shall I do? What shall I do? The wasp sits on the porch of her paper castle. The blue heron floats out of the clouds. The fish leap, all rainbow in mouth, from the dark water. The morning lilies are no less lovely, I think, than the lilies of Monet. And I do not want any more to be useful, to be docile, to lead children out of the fields into the text of civility, to teach them that they are, they are not, better than the grass. 5. At the edge of the ocean. I have heard this music before, saith the body. 6. The garden. The kale's puckered sleeve, the pepper's hollow bell, the lacquered onion, beets, orange, tomatoes, green beans. I came in and I put everything on the counter, chives, parsley, dill, the squash like the pale moon, peas in their silky shoes, the dazzling rain-drenched corn. 7. The forest. At night, under the trees, the black snake, Jellies forward, rubbing roughly, stems of the bloodroot, the yellow leaves, little boulders of bark, to take off the old life. I don't know if he knows what is happening. I don't know if he knows it will work. In the distance, the moon and the stars give a little light. In the distance, the owl cries out. In the distance, the owl cries out. The snake knows these are the owl's woods. These are the woods of death. These are the woods of hardship, where you crawl and crawl, where you live on the husks in the husks of trees, where you lie on the wild twigs and they cannot bear your weight, where life has no purpose and is neither civil nor intelligence. Where life has no purpose and is neither civil nor intelligence, it begins to rain. It begins to smell like the bodies of flowers. And the back of the neck, the old skin splits. The snake shivers, but does not hesitate. 
He inches forward. He begins to breathe through, like satin.